Don't know if y'all have been following on, along on the belt on this holster. The holster itself is done. Um, now we're working on the belt. And the belt basically is just about to the point where um, I need to let it sit and let it dry. Like we almost got the uh, all the stitch holes punched in it. As soon as we get those done, then it's going to die. And it's going to have to dry for a little while. So this one is for a Ford Springfield 1911 with a rail. My blue gun is a five inch, so that's that's why it sticks out the bottom a little bit. Anyway, the next holster up is going to be for a two and a half inch Smith and Wesson model 66-4. The 66-4 is a K frame, so this is my K frame blue gun. I cut the barrel down to two and a half inch, and um, this is what I've come up with. Um, I did send this fellow the a picture of this holster, and we made a few changes. And that's the thing, you know, you, you you make a mock up out of paper, and you send out a picture. And once the picture is approved, or design changes can be made, and when it's in paper, it's a lot easier to do than when it's in leather. Anyway, this is the approved pattern, and that's how it's going to be. It's going to have a slide for well, it's going to have a forward cant. I won't say slide, but it is going to have a forward cant. And I'm going to stamp this pattern, this pattern on it. That's going to go right in this area. I might just go ahead and do a border around here, around there. Um, or not. We'll find out when I get there. But now this is, has been approved. It's time to take this apart and, uh, and start cutting leather. This is my staple puller. Good. My staple puller. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these staples, trace it onto a hunk of leather, cut that out, and, uh, and get started with it. See y'all later. Well, the pattern's been approved and the leather's been cut. This is the backside piece which sits against the person's body. And this is the outside piece. Now, my next step is gonna to be to take these bits and trace out where these lines are gonna be. These are gonna be my stitch lines, but they're also going to be um, where, the, where the design on the holster is gonna be. Like, um, got over here somewhere. As I said before, that's the pattern I'm going to use. And this pattern is going to go in this area. Now, I'm thinking I might go ahead and do a border around here and around here. Yeah. That looked good. And it's going to all be dyed a nice deep mahogany color. It's going to be pretty when it's done. And uh, I'm going to get a little bit further along on it, we'll show you where I'm at. Sail in!